Okay, thank you everybody for taking a seat. My name is Janet Carding. I'm the director and CEO of the Royal Ontario Museum and welcome everybody to the ROM this morning. A couple of weeks ago, Jared Diamond, the science writer and communicator, spoke at the ROM. He was here because he was an invited speaker for our Maya exhibition, which we opened a couple of weeks ago. And I would have to say I thoroughly recommend to everybody here. But what he said was something that stuck in my mind, and I've been thinking about it ever since. And that's that as humans, we're the first species that can imagine things that happened in a different time and in a different place. And that's been going around in my mind since he mentioned it a few weeks ago. And I think that what we're about to celebrate this morning is a great example of that. Of, as humans, we have the opportunity, and indeed we've created something very, very special, which you can see today, where we can understand what life was like 500 million years ago. And I think that that's an incredible achievement, a really incredible achievement. And this is something which simply wouldn't have been possible a few years ago, but also wouldn't have been possible without the combination of the unique collections of the Burgess Shale, the expertise that's been brought together around this project, and then the technology that's made it possible. So what we're going to be talking about this morning is, um, is the launch of this wonderful new website. ROM and Parks Canada, with the financial assistance of the Virtual Museum of Canada and their, through their investment programme. And this is an initiative also of the Canadian Heritage Information Network. Together we've come together as a collaboration and today we're launching an online exhibition which really is that kind of time machine to enable us to look back and see what life might have been like all that time ago. And everybody can witness this fabulous experiment. Everybody can see this because by putting it on the web, people here in Toronto, people in other parts of Canada, people across the whole world will be able to experience this phenomenon. And the scope, the depth, and the technology of this experience, I believe, is unsurpassed. This is the first time that we've seen something like this and the way that these things can be brought to life. And so not only is this wonderful in terms of a piece of imagination and a piece of realization and a piece of creativity, but it's also the current and most comprehensive um, collection of knowledge and resource on the Burgess Shale that's available. So the website, as well as, um, as, well as the animations that you'll see in a few minutes, features an authoritative fossil gallery and about 200 species almost every one of the Burgess Sale species that's so far been described. But what's really incredible, what's mesmerizing, and I feel as though I'm um, all eclipsed by what you're watching in front of you. It really is mesmerizing. I can see that you're all looking that way rather than this way, which is good, I have to say. That's a very good sign. But what is mesmerizing about these things are the high resolution images of the lifelike models and the digital creations of more than 70 of those species. So these visuals, which of course have never been seen before because they've only recently been created, bring to life more than 100 years of research and discoveries in which Parks Canada and the ROM have been playing a part for a long time. But I think the awareness of the research that's happened over the last 100 years is just about to skyrocket with the, with the benefit of the site. So it's in collaboration with Parks Canada that we're extremely proud to present what I think is going to be the world's leading online resource for the Burgess Shale. Now just to speak of the ROM for a moment, the ROM's led dozens of Burgess Shale field exploration and excavations since 1975, and we now hold the world's largest collection of Burgess Shale specimens, more than 150,000 in total. And we hope that one day we can put many of these specimens on display in the museum. We're at the moment in the early stages of planning for a new gallery of early life. And this, I think, is a, a taster of what you will be able to see in that new gallery. And this kind of technology, we think we'll be using again to help bring these specimens to life. The virtual exhibition's content and concept were directed by the ROM's curator of invertebrate paleontology, Dr. Jean-Bernard Caron, who specializes in the study of early animal evolution. And he continues 
to this day to lead field expeditions to the Burgess Shale, and we're still creating and generating new knowledge and new publications every year in this area. And the ROM holds in trust Parks Canada's collection of Burgess Shale fossils, and we work together, and we hope to continue to work together for many years to protect, interpret, and to present a significant resource. I'd like to thank everybody who's been involved with this project, um, and I'd like to begin by welcoming the CEO of Parks Canada, Alan Naturel. Alan, welcome to the ROM, please. It's a great pleasure to be here this morning. It's, uh, as you walk through the halls, it's a bit like a uh, bringing out the child in you as you uh, try to explore, learn, uh, and be inspired about the, the diversity of our country and the species and the ages, the different ages the, of transformation, but also learn about the world. So it's a real pleasure uh, to be here this morning uh, to launch this great, great initiative. And uh, so what better place to be than the Ram uh, today to uh, celebrate this is our 100th anniversary as uh, Parks Canada. Uh, Canada was the first country in the world to establish a national park service, and it's something that we should be all proud of. It's something that, day by day, in our organization, Parks Canada, with all the Canadians, we celebrate and we are very happy. So, we protect us and we put in value the Parks Canada, a exceptional Canada, a natural exceptional history, the natural natural Canadian. Uh, through our work day to day across Canada, we protect the defining moments of our country and we protect some of the most spectacular and important places also of that great country of ours. Through our 42 national parks, 167 national historic sites, and our four national marine conservation areas. And while we encourage Canadians to visit these very special places and to really be truly inspired and transformed by those experiences, it's equally important that we as an organization work in great partners like the ROM with Can and Canadian Heritage to take some of these national treasures and bring them to life to Canadians and urban centers across our country. It's a way for us in partnership again with these great institutions to try to create this sense of hope and inspiration in future generations of Canadians for them to learn about the great diversity of our country. In the case of British Columbia's Yoho National Park, we strive to bring the mountains and their compelling stories to the people of Canada. This is especially true with respect to the Burgess Shell, arguably the world's most important fossil site that we are entrusted to protect, to present, and to communicate. Our close relationship with the Royal Ontario Museum has resulted in a project of which all Canadians all of us in Parks Canada, the ROM, and Canadian Heritage are very proud of, but all Canadians should be very proud of the creation of the new Burgess Shell Virtual Museum of Canada. It's again leading edge in terms of research, in terms of how to communicate and inspire young Canadians. The partnership this website has helped forge is valuable to both of our respective organizations and the public we so proudly serve. Without the ROM's expertise and Parks Canada's collaboration, this would not have been possible, and I would say that, again, young Canadians would have missed out on this great learning opportunity. La population du Canadien peut être assurée par la gestion de Parc Canada du 6 de Burgess. Les fossiles de l'endroit seront protégés à perpétuité, et les lieux continueront de faire l'objet de recherches scientifiques et d'être accessibles à des randonnées guidées par des interprètes experts de Parc Canada qui sont extrêmement passionnés. Le Musée virtuel du Canada sur le schiste de Burgess aidera nos deux organismes à interpréter et mettre en valeur les récits étonnants du schiste. Similarly, Canadians can be assured that through Parks Canada's stewardship of the Burgess Shell, the site's fossils are protected in perpetuity while still allowing scientific research and on-site access via guided hikes with knowledgeable, and I must say, very passionate Parks Canada interpreters. The Burgess Shell Virtual Museum of Canada will help interpret and, pre and present the amazing stories of our country. It will help bring these exquisite and ancient creators to life. And more importantly, it will connect people with this profound period of Earth's history. I would also like to extend my great appreciation for and thanks to the Department of Canadian Heritage for their generous investment of $365,000 in this project by way of the Virtual Museum of Canada Investment Program 
an initiative of the Canadian Heritage Information Network. Again, through that program, to the creativity, to the passion, to the expertise of our organizations, we're today celebrating a great ach collective achievement. Cette initiative n'aurait pu se concrétiser sans l'aide du patrimoine canadien. Vous avez toute notre gratitude. In a world of almost infinite opportunities for people's leisure time and attention, I believe both the Ram and Parskanda must continue to strive to make connections with Canadians and remain relevant in their lives. The Burgess Shell Virtual Museum presents an excellent opportunity, I would say an exceptional opportunity to do just that. Simply put, the Burgess Shell is a secret word sharing. It's a place all Canadians and the people of the world should know about. And this is amazing new online exposition will allow us to fulfill that goal and to be one step closer to achieving it. Thank you so much. And again, thank you to the RUM and thank you to Canadian Heritage. Merci beaucoup. Good morning, everyone. It's a great pleasure to have you here today. It's a great day for us and for uh, the story of life on Earth. Life as we know it today is the result of billions of years of evolution. Life changed dramatically starting about 540 million years ago during the so-called Cambrian explosion. It is during this period that we see the emergence of complex animals in the fossil record and the origin of modern ecosystems. The five or five million year old bird shell in Yo National Park is perhaps our best window into life during these transformational times. The exceptional preservation of diverse marine subbodied organisms represents a treasure trove for paleontologists. Tucked away in several public institutions in Canada and the USA, some for nearly 125 years, access to most of these fossilized remains has so far been reserved almost exclusively to, an, to a handful of specialists. Not anymore. Here I will give a bird's eye view of the main parts of the website, excluding the Parks Canada section, which will be presented by Alex College, and educational components which will be covered by Jacques Lavoie. This is probably the least technical area of the site and the, the one that will appeal most to casual visitors. These scientifically accurate depictions represent the bird shell community as it might have appeared in life. We have designed this part of the website as a virtual uh, submarine dive with short clips starting from uh, the surface of the ocean and ending with the engulfment of the Bersha community by a submarine uh, mudslide. In between these two sequences, visitors will be able to view different groups of species organized into main ecological categories such as the predators here, the grazers, filters, etc. Each Sorry, at the end of each clip, there is a list of particular species that are being seen uh, in these clips. And you can, click, you can click on each of these links, which will bring you to the fossil gallery. So let's explore the fossil gallery itself. Illustrated with hundreds of stunning images, and lifelike animations and reconstructions, the fossil gallery represents the core of this website. It includes images of specimens from all the major Bergeshire repositories, the ROM, the Smithsonian Institution, the Geological Survey of Canada, the University of uh, Michigan, and Harvard University. This fossil gallery serves as a quick reference guide for almost all species described from the Bergeshire. There is up-to-date information on research, including a list of references uh, for each species that you can scroll uh, through each of these uh, 200, uh, nearly 200 species. 